Hello guys, welcome to a new video. I have an unboxing video here for you for a lens I've been thinking about buying for a long time. And when the opportunity came and I saw something on eBay at a great price, I, I had to buy it. I had no choice. It was uh, impulse buy, yes. Is that a lot of money? Is it more than I can afford? Yes. How did I buy it? Stuck it on the credit card and I had a bit of money saved up for it, but um, nowhere near as much. Um, but, you know, when I saw it at an amazing price, I had to buy it. So, I'm going to unbox it. You'll get to hear my reaction. And, um, I won't tell you how much I paid for it in this video. What I will do is, in a couple of days, if you guys want to leave some comments to say to me, what what do you think I paid for it? And, in, a, in a, about a week, I will update the description box with how much I really paid for it. Um, then you'll realise what a good deal I got. Alright, um, so full dis disclosure, um, you know, um, it's, it's the bare lens, it hasn't come with the case that comes with it, but I uh, couldn't really refuse um, the opportunity. It's a lens I've really wanted for a, a long time. I have thought about buying a bigger lens than this. But that's a lot heavier and this is quite a bit lighter. So without further ado, let's get on with the unboxing and you get to see what this is. Okay, let's see what's in the box and let's hope it's uh, in good condition. Just as one important thing, try and open your box in a safe location. Just so you don't end up break, um, breaking whatever's in the box. So be really careful. Best thing to do is cut it down there, there, on the top, turn it round, do the same on the other side. And then you can open the box up. Okay, let's see how well they package this thing together. Lots of bubble wrap. Lots of bubble wrap, okay. Nothing else in the box, guys. So, <clears throat> let's have a look. Lots of bubble wrap, as you can see. Big package here with lots of bubble wrap on. Nice to see we've got bubble wrap. So it comes with a, a nice strap that I guess you would attach to the lens because it's quite heavy. Um, and then we need to just lightly, really careful not to do anything to it like that. There you go, that is a hefty lens, to say the least. So that is a 300mm Mark II IS um, ultrasonic lens. So we just take that off. Um, it should come off. Like so. Condition of the glass looks perfect um, and that's the lens cost a ton of money to buy as, as, as I've just said I will put a um, an update in the description box after a, a few days so you can guess how much I paid for it um, seems to be very little damage there's a little bit on there one thing I'm a bit annoyed about is there's no um, lens cap cover because they said it came with one in the description, so I'm a bit annoyed at that. Um, because they're not cheap, they're a good, I don't know, 50 quid or something. Um, but that's the lens, in terms of condition, looks fantastic. Um, looking on the lens itself is 
literally no no damage that I can see on it. Um, so that's a 300mm uh, 2.8 lens. So I have extenders that will give me 420mm at f4 and um, 600mm at 5.6. So this is an L lens. Uh, built like a tank. It's got a fantastic um, lens collar. See that? Got clicks as well. That's fantastic. That that means you'll you'll know when you're in a certain orientation for landscape or portrait. Um, on the buttons here, let's have a look what we've got here. We've got uh, stabilizer mode one, two, and three. One for uh, up and down and side to side. Two for panning, and three is I think when you just press the shutter it sort of works um, cuts down on the battery usage um, obviously we have presets as well, focus presets um, these are buttons that you can set um, it to focus to a certain distance and, and then you just press set on that and it'll um, save those presets um, and obviously uh, we've got a uh, on and an off button there for your presets and there seems to be uh, an audible um, button that probably connected your camera to make a noise that's interesting and then obviously there's, there's an attachment there for your strap because the one thing you don't want to do is drop this because you, you know, I have had L lenses fall on the floor before and they've been fine because they're well built but you never want to take a chance with a piece of glass um, but condition wise I'm really happy with the condition. That glass is perfect. Let's see if we can take the other side of it off and have a look. You see down there, look at the quality of that. That's fantastic. You know, no issues regarding quality. I'm just a bit annoyed that it ain't come with a uh, front lens hood, um, which they did say it came with in the description. So I'm gonna have to query that with them. But that's the unboxing. So, so I'm really pleased with this lens. It's um, going to be one of my sharpest lenses I've ever owned. Um, it's about two and a half kilo in terms of weight. Um, so it does get close to the three kilo um, with the extenders. But the 500 f4, if I bought that, that's 3.1 kilos. Mark II is about two. It's, 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 it's quite a bit more expensive than this. I nearly, nearly gave it away there, didn't I? Nearly. Um, and it's it's uh, a good 500 to 600 grams heavier than this. Um, obviously, once you put the extenders on this, it's probably about three kilo. Um, but yeah, it's still hand holdable. It's not light. Don't get me wrong, but it's a nice quality lens. Look at that. Look at that. Really chuffed with it. Um, good condition. And I'll reach out to the seller and ask him about where's the front lens uh, cover because uh, in the description box he said it came with one so I'm a bit annoyed at that I'm going to find out uh, what's going off with that I'll update you in the description box if I ever got, got hold of that but um, yeah it's a lot of money I'm going to have to uh, do quite a bit of overtime I suspect to pay for this didn't really want to do that but some things you have to do is for, for something you want if you want something in life you're going to have to work for it no one's going to give it to you so that's my advice to you guys. If you ever want something, you've got to work for it. Don't expect someone to give it to you. Don't think about stealing it. Um, you know, just get out there and work hard. Hard work um, gives you good rewards. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to show you this lens, really. Let me know in the comments what you think. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it if you do. Um, yeah, and this should give me some good opportunity of getting some good wildlife. I was thinking about the Mark 1, but then realised spend a bit more and I'll get four stops of image stabilisation rather than just two. Plus it's newer. The newer the uh, there's another thing I need to make quite important. A point I need to make quite important is when you buy an old lens, quite often they come with issues such as scratched elements, fungus on elements, that means you have to get the lens professionally cleaned. And that fungus may still come back. Um, so obviously, that, that's something I just want to warn you guys about. If you've ever seen a sheet lens going and it says it's got fungus on, walk away. 
unless you're prepared to pay the cleaning bill, unless it's really cheap, that lens, and it's viable to get it cleaned by Canon or by Sigma or Tamron, because the repair bill, the cleaning, cleaning bill is not cheap. You're talking between 250 quid on average for a big lens for Sigma, 500 to, to a grand with Canon, and I suspect it'd be the same with all the other big manufacturers as well. And that's even if they're prepared to clean it, because you know this Mark II will be service, first serviceable by Canon, um, and Mark I won't be. Um, so just remember that, guys. I, I, th I think it's a bit annoying if you've thrown a ton of money on the lens many years ago, and Canon say we're not going to service that lens anymore. I think that's a bit crap, but that's just life, isn't it? Anyway, this is my new lens. It's going to be my new go-to lens for doing wildlife in the park, in the forests. Um, I like to go out and about, walk, ab walk about and see nature. And quite often you get nature come close to you. And sometimes 500, 600 millimetres, you don't need that, you know. I quite often, when I had my old 300 f4 lens, quite often I had wildlife within shooting distance, quite often. Because if you go in a park, they're used to people and they're not scared of people as they would be say in a forest in the middle of nowhere um, so you don't need a huge telephoto lens generally just a reasonably good um, telephoto lens so 300mm is pretty good anyway with extenders on that I can still make it longer and get decent quality because it's a prime sharp lens putting extenders won't degrade my images that much compared to if you stick it on a zoom lens uh, but even today, modern zoom lenses are fantastic. You know, my Sigma 150 600 is really, really sharp. Canon 100 4 Mark II, good sharp lens. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with modern zoom lenses, but prime lenses do tend to be a lot sharper. Um, but I think in general, I think sharpness isn't, isn't an issue anymore. I think it's the aperture, it's the issue. So a 2.8 will let a ton of light in. So I can get really high shutter speeds, even in darkly lit situations like forests, or even indoors, you know. Um, so a lot of people, especially portrait photographers, actually like to carry a 2.8 lens. They might think 300 is too long, but because it lets all that light in, you know, all they have to do is stand back a little bit further, you know. And because of the compression of the, of the, of the focal length, they get some really nice portraiture imagery from a lens like this. It's not something you would expect, but there are some portrait photographers that use this. So, I'll, I'll wind the video up now to say this is my new lens. Hope this video was nice for you to watch. And I'll see you in the next one. And, uh, you know, keep guessing on how much I spent on this. So, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.